a question I'm often asked is, what tips would you have for Ohio workers if you are injured at work? And so I'm going to talk about a few specific tips that you should think about if you're injured at work. First of all, if you're injured at work, the most important thing is to document the injury, meaning make an incident report, and to tell your employer or your supervisor as soon as possible. A common problem that I'll find is that the client believes that he's injured and thinks it'll just go away and doesn't tell the employer for a week or two and the employer's argument is that this is a fake injury it never happened at work the client was probably stoned or uh, drunk at work and that the client is lying so the important thing is document the claim as soon as possible a second concept is you can go to any doctor you want as long as they're BWC, Bureau of Workers' Compensation certified. Often the employer will want you go, to go to a specific doctor. And the reason for that is that specific doctor is basically approved by the employer and gets a vast majority of their business from the employer. So at least there's a perception that this is, quote, the employer's doctor. So it's important to talk to your friends, find out who are the good patient-oriented doctors, and to find the doctor of your choice. Often I find that a lot of people's family doctors don't want to touch workers' compensation cases, so it's important to get a doctor that not only is a good doctor, but is going to be cooperative. The third thing is paperwork. Workers' compensation is a paperwork-oriented process. If you want lost wages, you have to fill out the correct paperwork. If you want to receive money for pain and suffering, you have to have the paperwork filled out. That's why it's important, I believe, to read our book, the Ohio Work Injury Book, that describes your legal rights and to contact an attorney to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. Fourth and final concept for this video, the employer typically never tells you what all your legal rights are. So if you don't read the book, you don't even know what options you have available to you in an Ohio workers' compensation claim. Yeah.